Hi friends, in this session we will study about the mean of ungrouped data by direct method and by shortcut method. So first we look at this example, uh, this question. From the following data, the marks obtained by 60 students of a class calculate the arithmetic mean. The data is given marks obtained 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 and the number of students for 20 marks there are 8 students, 30 marks there are 12 students, 40 marks there are 20 students, 50 marks there are 10 students, 60 marks there are 6 students and 70 marks there are 4 students. So let us first I explain you the formula how to find out the arithmetic mean by direct method of ungrouped data. So let us see. Here, direct method. Here, x bar is equal to summation of fx over summation of f. So, this we have to find out the product of f into x, we have to find out, then we have to add is. We have to sum get the summation of this and we have to find out the summation of f. f here if we see this one is x, this is x and this is f. So first we draw the table here. Now um, let us draw a table. Uh, I draw some column here. This is for x. The first I am drawing for x and second for f this is for f we are drawing for f and this one is for f and x fx this gives three columns we need to solve these sort of questions so let us write here This one is x, this one is f, and this one for f into x. x and f is given, we will write just it here 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And the frequency we will write here 8. Uh, I change the color here use different color so it is 8 12 20 10 6 and 4 now we have to find out the fx so we have to multiply 20 into 8 so 20 into 8 is 160 we have to multiply here 30 into 12 which is 360 uh, and 40 into 20 it is 800 it is 500 it is 360 it is 280 so in formula you see we have to find out the summation of this summation of fx so we get the summation of fx here summation of fx we get here 0 6 2 4 6 0 it is now 2 4 6 0 and we need summation of uh, f here you see summation of f we have to find we have to find so f is here so we have to get the summation of f so we get the summation of f here 20 into 8 is 8360 summation of fx 2460 2460 over 60 so we get here 
this will animate 6 one time uh, 6 for uh, 24 and 6 one yeah, 6 so x bar is equal to 41 so this is a direct method by which uh, we could easily find out the mean of one group data now i explain you about the uh, shortcut method or the indirect method to find out the mean to assume mean method so let us study about the shortcut or indirect method it is also called assumed mean method also we could also say it's assumed mean method this method we have to find out the mean of this data so I just uh, so this this is our x and this is our f here uh, this is the terms the value of the terms is here and the frequency of the terms is also given us so first I explain the formula how to find out the uh, mean of ungrouped data by shortcut method the formula is like this x bar is equal to a plus summation of f d a over summation of f so we have to find out the f d a f multiplied by d a so d a where deviation from assumed mean first I explain what is a here okay so summation of f uh, where A is assumed mean D A is deviation from assumed mean deviation of data from assumed mean so this we have to find out here uh, we can take uh, assume mean a from any one of the data so i take assume a assume mean 40 so what we have to find out first of i have to find out the da da which is x minus a da which is x minus a deviation of data from as mean so x is here 20 x is here 20 minus 40 which is equal to 20 minus 40 which is minus 20 uh, I just get here uh, 20 minus 40 which is minus 20 which is minus 20 here and it is 30 minus 40 which is minus 10 40 minus 40 which is 0 50 minus 40 40 is the assumed mean we have to subtract assumed from each of the term so we get here plus 10 60 minus 40 we have to get plus 20 70 minus 40 we have to get plus 30 now what we have to do we have to find the FDA so FDA I just remove this uh, vertical line from here and put some uh, little bit distance from here uh, so we get here uh, FDA F DA you look at this we have to get FDA DA is here F is here we have to multiply this both 8 into minus 20 8 into minus 20 which is equal to minus 160 here 12 
multiplied by minus 10 12 multiplied by minus 10 8 multiplied by 20 here we get minus 120 here 20 multiplied by 0 <coughs> we get 0 10 multiplied by plus 10 we get 100 6 multiplied by 20 plus 20 if we multiply we get 120 and 4 multiplied by 30 we again get 120 now we get the summation of these the negative terms we add up and the positive terms we add up then we simplify this so we get here uh, it is minus 20 and here we get plus 340 so plus 340 minus 280 we get here finally we get here finally uh, explain you how we get here so plus 340 minus 280 summation of FDA it is 6 0 60 we get here 60 out of 340 minus 280 we get 60 and summation of f we know that it is 60 now we have already we have calculated in a, uh, previous method a we have 40 we have to put these values in this formula so if we put here in this formula the values because x bar is equal to a plus summation of FDA over summation of F therefore X bar is equal to A we have 40 here so we will put here 40 instead of A and summation of FDA we know that it is 60 so we will put here uh, 60 and summation of F is also 60 so we put here 60 so we get here x bar is equal to 40 look at this 61 times so we get here 1 40 plus 1 40 plus 1 so therefore x bar is equal to 41 so this is the mean of ungrouped data through shortcut method so the same mean as we have got here through direct method it is also 41 and here also we have got 41 so if you use any method you could get always same mean of ungrouped data through shortcut or direct method